Hey, Joystick News family. Today, we're diving into the chaotic world of Metropolis, where the infamous Suicide Squad is wreaking havoc, and guess what? Rocksteady, the mastermind behind the sensational Arkham series, is rolling out the red carpet for us with some free DLC delights for Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. This move is Rocksteady's latest bid to keep us glued to our screens and fully engaged with their live service juggernaut. So, let's strap in and explore what's on offer and what this means for the future of the game. To kick things off, Rocksteady is not just dropping any DLC, they're making it rain with freebies, but there's a catch, it's all about timing. From April 3rd to April 7th, players who log in daily will be rewarded with brand new outfits for their characters. Imagine giving Captain Boomerang a fresh new look or decking out Harley Quinn in gear that'll make even the Joker pause. This limited time offer is a clever strategy to boost daily logins and reinvigorate player interest. But why the sudden generosity you ask? It's clear Rocksteady is doubling down on their live service model, aiming to keep the community buzzing with regular content updates, new playable characters, and of course stylish outfits to keep our squad looking sharp. The introduction of the Joker as a playable character in the Season 1 update was just the beginning. With a character as iconic and beloved as the Clown Prince of Crime entering the fray, expectations are sky high for what's coming next. Speaking of what's next, let's talk about the broader picture. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League represents a significant pivot for Rocksteady, moving from the single-player epics of the Arkham series to a full-blown live service experience. This transition hasn't been without its bumps. At launch, the game received a mixed bag of reviews, with some fans and critics feeling let down. Even Warner Bros. Discovery expressed disappointment over the game's initial performance. However, Rocksteady is not one to back down. The Season 1 update, featuring the Joker, marks a pivotal moment in the game's life cycle. By promising four seasons of live service support, each introducing a new playable character, Rocksteady is laying down a roadmap for redemption and long-term engagement. What does this mean for us, the gamers? Well, it's a bit of a mixed bag. On one hand, free DLC and the promise of new content can rekindle interest in a game that had a rocky start. On the other, it raises questions about the sustainability of live service models and the balance between free content and paid expansions. Can Rocksteady navigate these waters and deliver a game that lives up to the legacy of the Arkham series? Only time will tell. So, what are your thoughts on Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League's free DLC week and the live service direction Rocksteady is taking? Are you excited to log in daily and collect those new outfits? or are you skeptical about the game's future? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get the discussion going. As always, keep it locked on Joystick News for all your gaming updates, reviews and in-depth discussions. Whether it's unraveling the latest gaming controversies or celebrating the next big release, we've got you covered. Until next time, keep gaming and who knows, maybe I'll see you in Metropolis.